I am Danny and welcome to my channel Danovator, where my experiences become your adventure. Reed Bingham State Park surrounds this 375 acre man-made lake. It provides camping, boating, fishing, swimming, and nature trails that wind through a cypress swamp and sand hill wooded areas along the Little River. Reed Bingham is located about six miles east of Adel, Georgia, off of Interstate 75. On Highway 37, I turned on Evergreen Church Road. I followed the paved road until I reached the Visitor Center. The Visitor Center is where I paid my $5 for access to the park today. You can also rent kayaks, buy food, and buy some fishing bait out of this vending machine. Over here is where we just came from. That's where the visitor center is. And this is the west side of the lake. And we're first gonna go over on this side and explore. And after we get done with the west side, we'll go over to the east side. And that's where the miniature golf course is at. And that's where all the trails are at over here on the east side. As we drive from the Little River Bridge towards the west side of Reed Bingham, I want to remind you to please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and make sure that you hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when I release my next adventure. After we explore Reed Bingham, I will take you to the final resting place of the person who this state park was named after. Reed Bingham has this sand beach. Across the lake is where all the hiking trails are located. I'm going to drive down and park at the west side boat ramp parking lot. Located behind those trees in front of us is a bridge that crosses over to a little island. This looks like a peaceful area to sit back and relax, or even have a picnic. There's some kayakers enjoying their afternoon. Today's temperature is in the low 80s. It's overcast with a slight chance of rain. It's actually a very pleasant day. I want to go and finish up the west side by walking on that dock over there. Is it a piece of wood? Is it a turtle? No, it's a small alligator. He's enjoying his day on the lake. I will simply follow the paved road around the perimeter of the lake to the east side. There's another glimpse of the dam to the left. My next destination is here on the right. I'm going to try to play some miniature golf. Located beside the mini golf course is the RV and tent camping site. Now it's time to head to our first walk-in trail.
The first trail we're going to explore is the Gopher Tortoise Trail. It's part of Reed Bingham's Gopher Tortoise Management Area. I'm hearing some thunder in the distance. Looks like those chances are starting to increase of rain. The Gopher Tortoise Loop is a one mile sandy path that circles the inner core of the Gopher Tortoise Management Area. What you are seeing is what you get on this trail, but you do have a good chance of spotting a gopher turtle, a deer, squirrels, or an array of different species of birds. Down that path is for, where probably all the gopher turtles are, but it says, do not enter, so let's continue on. Well, this was an easy walk. I didn't see no gophers though. I wish they had some battery powered animatronic gophers along the path just to keep your attention. But overall, it was a peaceful little walk, an easy walk. It was a flat walk, just like walking out in the, what well, it was like walking out in the woods. We are now heading north to where the bulk of the trails are located. Welcome to Reed Bingham Park. The Pitcher Plant Path, which is a short path, leads to the Turkey Oak Trail. I encountered this fallen tree on the path, probably a result of the remnants of Hurricane Idalia that roared through South Georgia a few weeks ago. Now I'm going to walk through the Turkey Oak Trail. The Turkey Oak Trail is also a short east to west path. Hey, I think I see a tortoise down here. Thanks for the photo op. On the turkey trail, I found a gopher hole right here. Let's look at it. At the storm shelter, I'm going to take the upland connector. This is a half mile trail that starts off in a floodplain forest and then crosses through an open pine woodland. The tree roots are real bad in this area here. But that's just part of nature. The bird walk trail is one of Reed Bingham's more popular trails. It is little less than a mile in length. It is here that we encounter our first major boardwalk. And on the boardwalk trail, I encounter another fallen tree. I'm definitely getting my exercise today. This is a fairly steep climb. Wow. The bird walk trail ends at this picturesque pond. I will continue north on the yearling trail. The yearling trail is a one mile long trail that leads to the northern tip of the park. It also has a boardwalk.
I will take the right trail, which is the Red Roberts Loop. It features two small wooden bridges that cross one of many drainage creeks that flow down into the Little River. It's starting to rain and I'm on the furthest point of this, uh, of this hike here. Just trying to reach the end so I can head back. It is grueling with the humidity like it is. This area is the northern furthest tip of Reed Bingham State Park. With the threat of rain, I'm going to waste no time heading back south. I'm going to walk down the Yearling Trail once again. I'm heading back now. This was a long trip. After reaching the storm shelter, I will finish my exploration of the park's paths by taking the Little River Trail to the right. I only have a little more than a mile before my hiking adventure is over for today. With the skies turning dark from the approaching rain clouds and the sound of thunder getting closer, I'm just not confident that I will make it out without getting drenched. But I am determined to complete this last trail no matter what. Hey there, Mr. Squirrel. The Little River Trail winds beside the Little River through this swampy forest. This part of the trail provides great views of the river. I believe there's an observation deck here to the right. It feels like the rain is right on my heels. This boardwalk leading back to the parking lot is a long walk. It took a lot of boards to make this thing. Well, it's starting to get real dark. I can hear thunder in the background. And the wind's starting to blow. I got a storm that's fixed to start bearing, bearing down on me. So I'm trying to get back to the car. Hopefully I can get there before I get soaking wet. I need to check out this last observation deck before we leave. The swamp thing would fill it home in there. And of course, so would a bunch of alligators. And just like that, here's the rain. I am almost back to the car. Well, I didn't quite make it out of the rain. Rain, it caught up with me. I'm gonna try to get dried off. We're gonna start heading over to Moultrie, Georgia to the gravesite of Amos Reed Bingham. So let's start heading over there now. The Westview Cemetery is located in Moultrie, Georgia, about 16 miles east of the Reed Bingham State Park.
If entering the Westview Cemetery off of Goff Drive in front of the Mack Tharp Stadium, head west and look for this cemetery plot landmark. Amos Reed Bingham's grave is located just across from it. He was born in Chicago, Illinois on the 4th of October, 1881. He became an electrical engineer and settled in southwest Georgia in the 1930s, where he helped with the development of the Rural Electric Authority project in Coquit County. He conceived the idea of damming the Little River for the possible use of hydroelectric power and for providing a large recreational area for the southwest Georgia communities. During World War II, he was employed at the atomic plant in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, where he was part of the early pioneering for the first nuclear bombs. After his service, he returned back to southwest Georgia. In the late 1950s, Coquit and Cook County purchased land along the Little River for the development of a state park. The dam was completed on the 1st of January, 1970. Amos Reed Bingham died on the 9th day of February, 1969, at the age of 87. The state park was named after him in his honor. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed my video on Reed Bingham State Park. I had a good time, and if you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Remember to please subscribe and hit that bell so you be notified when I release my next adventure. And always remember, your adventure awaits with the Danovator.